Hey, Peter Buswell here for DrVOIP.com. I'm going to take a look at the holiday check. It's a classic uh, script kicking around the Cisco community since about the first iteration of the script editor. But it's a really great script because in less than, I don't know, 10, 10 lines of code, um, it, it really tickles a lot of the skills that uh, you need to have if you're going to tackle uh, serious UCCX scripting. In this script, there's some really clever little nuances, and uh, it gives you a chance to play with the different data types. Uh, let's us uh, make use of XML documents. We, we do some string manipulation. Uh, we can actually do an active debug on the subflow and uh, by putting the actual document into the subflow, and I'll show you how that works, and then we can also do uh, uh, retrieve data from the XML document by using XPath, or you know, Cisco recommends this uh, descended child strategy. So, uh, I'd like to take you through uh, this script and and show you some of these items because I think it's it, it's really educational. I will show you um, the lessons that are embedded in here because it's uh, it's 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 pretty good stuff. You'll learn something, I'm sure. So we have about 15 variables that we needed to create, and these variables um, include setting today's date. Uh, so we created a data type date. You'll notice you select your different data types up here. Um, there is now on the data class called date. Give it a name and it will go get today's date in this format. Actually it gets the time. Um, we created some string variables, variables uh, and some constructors and pointers. For purposes of this demo I'm going to show you how to do it both using XPath um, and also the uh, descendant child routine that uh, Cisco recommends. So having said that, I'll come back to this script in a minute, but let me take you over to the actual XML document. The XML document can be written with any standard text editor. I prefer um, working with, a, with an editor like Stylus. Uh, Komodo is free out there in the marketplace. It's great great uh, tool for creating uh, not just uh, XML documents, but uh, PHP, uh, etc. I like Stylus when I'm working with uh, XML because it enables me to also create uh, my XPath. So we can create a little quarry over here and, and go and test it. Uh, right here in the document before we go stick this uh, expression in our XPath in the actual script. So uh, in this case, uh, holidays, which is this uh, root here, and let's get holiday one. So we'll parse looking for holiday one and bring back uh, January. If I were to change this to, let's say, holiday four, that would be this guy here. Let's take a look, and it does, in fact, retrieve that. You can do the same thing using the descendant holiday child. Here's holiday one. If I want to go get holiday four, I'd uh, run that and we do in fact retrieve it. So this is the document. Um, we're going to have to load that up to our server, but for purposes of debug, I'm actually going to just copy this and stick it in the actual um, expression here. Uh, so we have a, 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 a document which contains the uh, XML document and, and this expression points out on the document repository on the server and it um, it's going to be replaced by us just uh, typing the word text putting in a bracket and then we can just go ahead and copy this here um, so it's right into the variable and then we put an in bracket here. So the actual document that we'll reference in our script is 
buried right into the actual date list. And it saves you the trouble of having to fix your document, send it back up to the server, and all that good nonsense. Okay. So uh, let's let's walk through the actual logic flow here. So the first thing we do is set today's date. Now this today's date is actually a um, Java class over here. In it's a date constructor, and we we'll just go ahead and select it. So you don't have to build a uh, Java utility to do that. We we'll go ahead and create the document. Now I know this is not technically accurate description, but it'll help you understand the process. When we say uh, create the XML document, that doesn't mean go out on the server and, and write it. What it means is, is basically create an image of that document. This document needs to exist, and as you can see, um, it's named here. So that would be out here, would be the name of your document. And at that point, we're going to uh, have to increment or parse that document because it's holiday one, holiday two. So here we have an integer that we set up called the holiday entry number, and we have set that to zero initially. The next thing we've done is to create a string uh, conversion. We're going to convert a data type of integer here to a string. And uh, here is your uh, string manipulation is being done here. So we're taking the integer number and we're converting it to the string, assigning it to the string value, uh, the string parameter holiday entry suffix. Uh, at that point, we want to set a string holiday. And what we're looking to do here is to say, go get holiday number one. Then we're going to say holiday two, etc. And so we have to assemble that on the fly. Now, in this example, I'm going to use XPath to do this. So basically, I have to set the same thing here. I've created something called XPath begin. And if we go here down here, we can see that I have set XPath begin to be slash holiday slash, excuse me, holidays slash holiday. And we need to add a one here or a two or a three or a four, and that's the variable that's going to change. So we say that x path is equal to that uh, beginning path plus the digit that we extract up here in the uh, integer holiday entry number converted to a, a string so we can have a complete string expression here. Then we go into the document and get it. So here, uh, um, we're saying go into the document name, the document list, get the X path, um, and the X path has been defined in the set example, uh, example and uh, assign the, the result to a variable called string date. Then what we're going to do is compare the string date to see if we've reached the end of the file, uh, because we have a value down here called string date null. And we're saying here, if it doesn't equal null, then um, let's uh, do it. There's no need to continue any further. We'll just end. But in the first time through here, uh, we're going to find that it's false. We do nothing to continue. Um, we now set the date, holiday date, equal to the new date as defined when we retrieved it from the document. The next thing that has to happen is we have to parse that information. So this is a string manipulation that is basically going to take a look at the variable entitled today's date, which we previously set up. And what we need to do here is to uh, manipulate that string to find the month. And so we're going to compare today's date, the month, with you know the holiday date we retrieve from the document, and we're going to do that for the day, the month, and the year, and that's basically what's happening here. It's a straightforward um, search on the string to find an element of the string that we need to uh, assemble our date. At that point, 
if we find that today's date is in fact equal to the date we retrieved from the XML document, then uh, we want to set the Boolean value today is a holiday to true uh, and which will cause this subflow to return the value today as a holiday to the uh, script that called it and that script can now say oh today is a holiday and do whatever it needs to do based on the holiday so that's it it's a pretty simple script but it combines uh, a, a great many elements of scripting uh, several different data types we need an XML document. We need to know how to manipulate our strings. And I'm going to show you an active debug at this point right now using XPath. And I, I guess if we have time, we'll go ahead and do it again using that. OK, so let's uh, verify that the script validates. And at this point, let's uh, do an active debug. Keep in mind, again, the the document is actually right here inside this parameter. We previously uh, put it in here. So we're not going to actually go out to the server and get it. It's just a way of being able to test your work without having to worry about moving files up to the server. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the um, step over here. We've entered Active Debug. This indicates the item that will happen next when I hit Step. So at this point, we're going to set today's date. It hasn't happened yet. It'll happen after I press the step. So let's go down here and see date, today's date. Date, today's date has now been set to the 24th. And let's continue to step forward. At this point, we're going to create our document. And now we're going to begin parsing that document. So at this point, we're going to increment the holiday entry number. So if we go down uh, to our integer holiday number, it's currently set to 0. After we make this step, it should now be 1, which means that uh, we're going to index. So keep here. We're setting our x path now. So what is the x path going to be? Well, the suffix is 1. And the XPath begin statement, which is what we have here, we're going to add the beginning statement, holiday slash holiday, and add the digit 1 here to the end. So that's how we will index this document. So, excuse me, oops. Now let's go ahead and step forward. Let's get that. Let's assign the result to string date dot null. Excuse me, string dot date. So let's go see what that is string date it came up as uh, January 30th so we're n it's not null uh, um, let's continue what we're going to do now is to compare it uh, um, we're, we're setting date holiday date equal to the string date we retrieve from the file we're now going to parse it for uh, um, the individual elements we need if it turns out to be equal to today's date, then uh, the holiday is true and we'll end the process. But in this case, it didn't. What we're going to do now is return and we're going to step through this process again. This time you'll notice that we incremented our, you can see down here it's now 2, and we're going to continue to walk through the document uh, each time looking for today's date. So at this point, as we continue to step through, the date is now March 3rd. We're in the third iteration of the script. You can see that here. Um, and as we continue to step through, now we're on the fourth one. So <clears throat> let's go into the document and retrieve that date. So as you can see, the date is now the holiday date is the 24th, and today's date is the 24th. So the response here is true. And at that point, today is a holiday. When we hit this step, it's going to change it to true. The script will end, return to the call, calling uh, script, and tell it that today is, in fact, a holiday. And that's the end of it. 
I hope you have found this informative, and I thank you for viewing.